Wing it. We're winging it. Okay. Hey, this is Jen from Ugly Art Room, and I'm here with Yana, who is the chef of Salo Series. Hi, I'm Yana. I'm the chef at Salo Series, which is a traveling um, Filipino pop-up dinner. Um, and it's going international. Yay! Yay! And she's visiting for a couple days, so I figured since she's one of the most enthusiastic people I know, we can open some artwork together. Yay! Yay! So we have a few um, mail letter openers that my mother-in-law sent, so thank you, Nancy. One is a sword that says Toledo on it, and the other one looks like a knife yes. with a lot of embellishments. And one side is nice and red, and then the other one's nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to open our first piece, and this one's from Rob Jelinski, and I'll have Yana do it. And you can just hold it up to so people. Well, we don't want to show his address, so. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Rob <laughs> Jelinski. <laughs> then you could use the letter opener oh. if you want, since we have the letter opener. Open. <laughs> Don't break the art. Don't break the art. Don't break the art. All right. All right. So this is Rob Jelinski. The theme for this month's mail art challenge for February is bouquet, and it was inspired by a Salvador Dali uh, painting that I saw when I was at the museum, and it's also February, so I figured it's, you know, spring is coming. So, um... This is titled Moody, and it is a watercolor that Rob Jelinski did. So let's take a look at it, and we can talk about it a little bit. What do you think, Yana? I like it. It's daisies, right? I think so. Yeah. It's really pretty. And I love the the kind of like a purplish tint to the daisies as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like that it looks like it's in like a really tall bottle and there's sort of really hyper blue water and it's yeah. a bit offset. It looks like they were picked outside maybe and yeah. just kind of put into a vase maybe in the Rob's garden or something. And I like how cheerful they are. It doesn't really look like a watercolor to me. Um... Is it more like an acrylic, maybe, then? Well, it is a watercolor, but it just... I think maybe this is, like, sort of thick paper, so maybe it just gets absorbed differently. Or maybe Rob's technique is a bit different, but... And they are pretty moody. I mean... Yes. They're kind of sort of falling to over, over a little bit, and they do have that blue cast on them. Yeah. And I really like the, uh, sort of the color of this paper. Cool. I like them daisies. The moody daisies. All right. Thank you, Rob. And one of our regular male art artists, Rodney Hips, sent us one of his, um, can artworks where he Ooh. does some stenciling on a can an aluminum can and he also always sends it with a uh, hanging apparatus so it's easy to hang on the wall which is pretty cool it says remove this tape and this is Maddie's big bouquet and it's recycled aluminum spray paint paper stencil stamp and ink and is there something you want to say about this um, I really like that the flower is super enlarged. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if that's like a watermelon. What is it? <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It looks like a hot dog of some sort to me. <laughs> I like it. Maybe I just like hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know. She kind of looks like Gwen Stefani to me. Oh, yeah. Does she kind of look like Gwen Stefani to you? Like the 90s Gwen Stefani yeah. with like... Yeah. Some... She's very beautiful, whoever Maddie is. Yeah. I'm going to like her heart tattoo, too. Yeah, she's got a cool tattoo. Yeah. We like it. It's a really good stencil. It looks really good. The colors are awesome. 
Yeah. I like it a lot. Great work. I can't wait to see the uh, accumulation of all these pieces into a series because we definitely have that going, which is awesome. So maybe we can put them all together in a show. Thank you, Rodney. Do not destroy the art. Okay. I'm getting, I'm getting better at it. This looks like a letter. Yeah, I don't think that's... <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is an art. Oh, it's a nice letter, though, from Natsu McKissack, who is in a bunch of our shows. And she's thanking us for being part of our Paradise Postcard show. And she said it was a surprise to see her name appear in our YouTube video for Cruise. So that's really awesome. You are welcome. And we wouldn't be able to do it without awesome artists sending in the work. So thanks very much. So oh, the next piece we're gonna do is a piece that Yana actually brought, and uh, she could show it to you and explain. So I happened to be in in Danville, California, looking at uh, attending this like dance show, and I found this artist with his ninety plus year old grandmother. Um, they're selling their prints, and I thought that it was very interesting to still have like that connection beyond just family relations and actually collaborating on a piece together to create something a little bit longer than time. So um, the grandmother paints the watercolors and the grandson Kenneth actually does the illustration. So I think it's wonderful. So this is really beautiful. I like that she highlights just certain areas of it and leaves a lot of areas blank mm -hmm. um, I mean not blank but she doesn't color other areas so it's like a really nice a, some really nice color but then a lot of negative space but then the negative space has a lot of texture to it and what is he a Filipino artist yes he okay is. so does any of this these um, leaves and flowers do they are they um, native native or things you would see in the Philippines yes like I see like a monstera 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 leaf there and then some ferns and um, it's very like tropical mm -hmm. um, very jungle um, print right there so I think he was inspired by that yeah and also you would think if it was very jungly you there would be green yeah. But instead it's blue, which I like. That's like a different take on it. And it looks really modern too, which is cool because it's done by somebody who's, you know, how old? 93 years old? Yeah. Which is amazing. So check out their work. They have a lot other cool work as well. And I like this piece because it's a collaboration and so much of what Yana does with her dinners and what we do at Ugly Art Room is all about collaboration and creating together. So that's a really cool special piece. So thank you, Lola and Kenneth. Okay, and we're going to move on to our last piece, which was not actually mailed, so it kind of goes against the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it was dropped off by an artist who was in the last show, so I know a lot about it. But I'm going to let Yana have a... Let me show it first. Ooh, that looks so pretty. And let's get some details. And then I'm going to have Yana take a look at it. Oh, wow. And this is from Jack Compare. I'm probably spelling his, I mean, saying his name wrong. He is a um, illustrator and he's in a lot of the, he does a lot of cartoons for the um, local papers here in Corvallis and he was in our last show. So it's really exciting to see another one of his artworks. Oh, I love it. It says, say it with dead flowers. And I even like the, the Latin scientific name. Yeah. Yeah. Pareido, Pareidolius Dolores. Dolor is like mm -hmm. pain, right? And he said that he made up that Latin name. So it's, I got some insight onto the piece as well. <laughs> I like that the stems look like bones. And then there are some like bones also. And then a lot of them have like dead flower faces yeah there's so cool all different kinds of dead flower faces there's also i'm gonna say that's a fly since everything's dead yeah and 
There's even like a rib cage in there. And I also think it's pretty cool how the vase is kind of like liquidy in and of mm -hmm. itself as an object. It's sort of everything's just kind of like melting away. Yes. And the colors are pretty bright and cheerful, even though it's sort of a sad piece. But I kind of like that. I like when songs sound really upbeat and happy and then they're actually really depressing. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, thanks, Jack, for sending in this piece. It's really awesome. And thank you, Yana. Of course. Thank you. Good luck on all of your travels and on taking your dinner all over the world. We're going to be following you. And uh, thank you. And thank you for um, adopting me here in Corvallis. Of course. Yay. All right. Take care. Thanks for sending your work. Look out for the next video, too. Bye.